a log sewer back in this time we have a nice laptop to repair Dell latitude 5320 2021 we have fingerprint on the power button yeah a kind of newish uh, decent laptop now the problem with this one let's check the customer email so the customer is saying Dell stop charging previously charging fine with generic USB-C charger try another USB-C charger but it did not charge the USB-C connector and the area around the charger port got hot hmm? so what does mean hmm? that's a hot laptop let's plug a charger and see what it's doing actually I have the charger here let's see plug in the charger the meter is coming on and it's working 19 volts like 50 milliamps pressing the power button and nothing happened so the pd controller is working not this one this one is not working and the laptop is coming on battery critical low one second and here here is taking 600 milliamps so on this port it's working but the customer is saying it's not working check that 1.8 amps you can see so it's working fine and here this port indeed is not working what about on the other way around no so one port is not working at all let me check with my other meter no it's not working no no and this one is working uh okay we have to we have to find out why one port is not working can be a port fault probably not but we can find out powering off and let's have a look i'm waiting to see if it's charging fine yeah it is charging fine 1.2 amps let's check the port under the microscope yeah so the charging port is looking used but it's looking fine i can see every pin is present not sure if you can see it we can clean it yeah but I really doubt the port is the problem. Now, this must be some uh, uh, faulty PD controller. That's what I believe. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, let's open the laptop and uh, check inside. So you see on this case, I'm, uh, I'm confused. The customer is saying stop charging and he's saying it's getting hot but it's not getting hot i mean one port is not working at all that's mean it's taking no power and cannot get hot and uh, the other port is working fine and the laptop it's open okay looking nice inside let's try to make some space here and we don't have any access let me see if the pd controller is here no the pd controller is not on this side probably it's on the other side of the board no here we have the intel uh, uh, fast data Uh, USB, USB free data. So the port which is not working is actually this one. Wait one second. Okay, that's bad. I mean, for one second, I plug the charger. It was like 3.4 amps with 3 volts. You can believe that? I mean, that can explain what the customer said. Now he's not doing it. 
yeah, so this port is still working fine. You know what? I swear I seen like 3.3 .3 volts and 3 and something else. No, nothing. Okay, I'm assuming we have to take the board out, so no way this it will be an easy pizza. Because clearly here is something wrong with this port. Most likely something shorter like the customer uh, said. Okay, just give me some time and let me take the board out. And the board, it's out. Hmm? I can't spot anything. Everything is looking fine. Let's check closer. You know what? Everything it is looking fine. Let me grab the multimeter and let's check. Uh, we have the, you know, the main pins. The voltage is coming on to, onto the board like this one. And we have 8 ohms. You see, this is the faulty port. But on the good port, check here. We have nothing, you can see. So clearly here, we have a short 8 ohms. Can we spot what is shorted? Probably we can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the power supply. Yeah, 0 0.9 is fine. Probably it's too low, but that's okay. And coming with current here, and it's taking 120 milliamps. 120 milliamps should be fine. I mean, we can see if the port is getting hot or a component from the motherboard. Uh, I do have a port to replace if the port is faulty, so that's fine. Uh, let's hide the voltage just a little bit. One second, I can't see anything. Here, yeah, it's staying 170 milliamps. And what is getting hot? The port itself? Or something on the other side of the board? That's my question. A hundred seventy. No, nothing on this side of the board, nothing here. Uh, yeah, probably we're gonna smoke that port anyway. So I'm gonna hire the voltage. We have like two amps. And check there. Huh? I think it's the port itself. Or not. Let's try with alcohol. Let's see with alcohol. You know what? Also can be something wrong here on this side. So you see here we have another two capacitors, so that's another plus track. But probably with alcohol we can spot the full better. So let me see. Plus here. And what? You know what? I can't see anything. Okay, let me, let me, you know what? Let me hire the current. Yeah, we're gonna fry this, this, uh, this port anyway. Coming with current here. I mean, the current is spinning here around. Oh, uh, check there the port. So the port actually is, is boiling. You can see? Check here the port. Uh, the port is shorted, yeah. So, what's the solution? The solution is to replace the port. 400 degrees. Let's remove the port.
and the port is not coming out. You think the port is stuck with some glue? Yeah, it is stuck with some glue, so just have in mind if you replace this port. You can see the port, it is stuck with something there. Perfect, now the question is, do we still have short? So here and here, and we have nothing. You can see it's infinite, infinite resistance, so it's not short anymore. Let's use some rosin. The rosin is good. 190 degree solder wire. Perfect. Fantastic. And here. Yeah, now we can clean. I'm not sure what is this. Okay, some rubber thingy. Perfectly clean. Yeah, let me find uh, let, let me find another uh, charging port so we can replace it. You know what? I don't have exactly the same one. So we have this one and this one. Let's see which one uh, we can fit it there. Three hundred fifty degrees, just to be sure. Three sixty, just to be sure we are not melting the port. And it's not this one either. Okay, that's bad. You know what? I did found one port, uh, brand new. Uh, it's slightly different, but I think we can fit it. The pins are the same. Uh, the pin from the top is slightly shifted, you can see. Uh, those uh, stability pins, grounds, are here present, and that's fine. The only problem, we have an extra pin here and here. We have to take out this pin, that's all. Otherwise, it should work fine. Slightly smaller, but that's not important. Or, actually, we don't even have to break the pin, just bend it. Yeah, and it's low level compared with the, with the pins. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Let's see what we can do. Can we solder this port here? Yeah, we should be able to do it. Little bit of Russian flux. Perfect. Yeah, good. Now lower the temperature to 300, actually it is 360, 360 degrees. Kind of too much 360. Yeah, the, the plastic is melting. 350. 350. Perfect. The pins are soldered. Yeah, the pins are soldered on place. 
before we are applying more solder, let's test it. So we have the USB C. Check there, the meter is coming on with 5 volts, 19 volts, and yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, proper solid. Yeah, we can check on the other side as well. Here, plug in the charger, the meter, it is coming on. And you can see it's taking color. Perfect. Now let's be sure that port is soldered properly. The thing is, uh, we don't really want this job to come back. Yeah. So we have to be sure the port is soldered properly. Perfect. Here is fine. Perfect. And here. And that is perfect. Okay. Let's use more solder here. Perfect. It is perfect or it's not, huh? Good. Dodgy? Hmm? What do you think? How can be dodgy? We replace a port which has a potential design issue. Yeah, we've seen was shorted with a different port. Hmm? Replacing with exactly the same port, there is like, you know, a chance to happen again. So yeah, it's not dodgy. It's actually, you know, improving. Can we say that? Improving? Yeah. It's always nice to find excuses when we don't have the right port. Mm -hmm. Let me put the board back quickly and let's test it. And the laptop is on and is charging, taking like 1.7 amps, 1.8 amps. Same on the other port. Yeah, same like on the other port. You can see the space here, because the, this port was slightly smaller. Uh, you can see the space here is the same with this space. You can see? So it's fine. I mean, just, uh, you know, keep in mind, you can't have every, every, every port, every charging port. There are so many models. Every manufacturer has their own model. And uh, sometimes we have, uh, you know, to work through and uh, use different ports for a specific job. Okay, perfect. I'm happy I help uh, this customer. I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.